Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day in Nebraska, and I woke up to a surprise. Especially here, you just never really know what the weather's going to do. Even if it says we'll get three inches of rain, you could wake up and it could be dry and sunny. And so over the past week, we've been getting these reports about, oh, today it's going to snow, it's going to snow, it's going to snow. And so when I woke up and it was actually snowing, I was honestly surprised. I know it doesn't look like much, but we haven't really gotten much of anything for snow. It's supposed to last all day, and supposedly we're supposed to get eight inches. I don't know if that is true, but I will say it is absolutely beautiful covering the trees. I'm decked out in my Laura Farms duck jacket here. Got some coveralls, some insulated boots on. It's actually not that cold outside, maybe about 30 degrees, just enough for the snow to keep falling. We had a really dry winter last year. You could definitely tell in the following planting season and then through the summer. So I'm really excited to have some moisture on the ground. Do you guys hear that? Pepper! Good morning! She's been laying on her heated bed. You ready for breakfast? Since it is the new year, time for new beginnings, but it's also winter and things are just a lot slower around the farm here in the winter since we don't have livestock and just a row crop operation. So I wanted to do a little bit shorter of a video today, a little bit more relaxed and just kind of give you an updated walk around our shop and show you some things that we've been working on, little projects. Nothing big, just some small things that I think are really cool and hopefully will relax you and just kind of show you what we've been up to and what I'm looking forward to in the new year. We are going to start over in this corner. This wooden workbench was here when we started renting the buildings and then purchased them. And it's very sturdy. I really like it. I don't know how long we're going to keep it around, but we got it all cleaned off and got rid of a lot of junk that's just been piled up on top of here. But the newest addition is this. It is an extension cord reel. We do a lot of work with power tools on this table and the table that you guys are resting on right now. And this is a really convenient way to get power to our tools and also not have to worry about cleaning anything up. It just stays plugged in right there. There is this blue air line here um, and I would like to put another reel next to it that mounts an air hose and is retractable like this one. Here's what the underside of that wooden workbench looks like. Would be a little bit cleaner looking if we had doors or something to close the front off, but for now it works really well for accessible things. Like we have some excess wood, grease guns, my little hand saw, big chainsaw, oil changing supplies, hitches, balls, all that kind of stuff. This is something you guys have been commenting about for a long time. I finally took your advice and listened. Instead of having our batteries sitting just on the concrete floor, we built this little wooden shelf for them. It does make them look a lot more organized. It's keeping them up off cold concrete. And plugged in, we have this little trickle charger. And so we just switch them on to batteries. We use these for vehicles but more importantly, we use these for our irrigation motors. And so it's important to have these charged up and accessible and ready. We go through a ton of these batteries. Also on this little rack is our jump pack. Grant got this for Christmas last year in 2022. And as you can see, it's been beat up. We used that thing a ton. Moving up is an area that I requested to be organized because these are tools that I use a lot. So I kind of consider this my little wall. Like I said, that blue line is an air line. So we have a little reel. It'd be nice if this was retractable, but the hook hanging on the wall works. Then we have a Milwaukee battery charger right here, and you'll see why later. We also have this little basket for all of our attachments. This tire pressure checker one that clips on, one for semi-trucks, and another line is able to be hooked on right here if need be. To the left, we have the air filter cleaner. 
This thing is really cool. My dad got this for me. And then we have the biggest addition that I think you guys are really going to like. We have the Milwaukee pack out, but the wall mounts. So we have battery holders. We have a holder for my cordless leaf blower. Then we also have my weed whacker, my big brush, and also my edger. I haven't used the edger yet, but I use the weed whacker all summer long. And this wire brush it works wonders for cleaning out bins and also sweeping off concrete. Continuing on back, we have some more extension cord hooks. And then also back here is where we keep our stockpile of Yankum ropes. That was another thing that I really didn't envision using, but since we have them, we use them all the time. They come in handy and I like them way better than using chains. So I'm realizing that this looks like it's a Milwaukee sponsored video, but I promise it isn't. We've just found that this wall hanging pack out system works super great for stuff that we have. Grant hopped on the Milwaukee train several years ago and it seems that we just continue buying their products. So for this pack out wall, I'll start from the bottom. We have, this cordless shop vac, which has quickly become one of my favorite tools. It's lightweight, very easy to move around, but also I just like that I'm not worrying about extension cords. So it fits right under here. We have a portable air compressor. We have a portable light right here. Just another thing that's great when cleaning out bins. We have our second portable cordless vacuum cleaner. This is my favorite for cleaning out cabs and pickup trucks. Again, like I said, super movable, lightweight, easy, and you're not worrying about cords. We have some more battery storage, and then we have another charger plugged in up here. And then this is where we keep our impacts. Screw gun, these are staying right here. Then we also have some bits stored under there. Moving over here, we have Sawzall, we have an angle grinder, we have another cordless air compressor. This thing has been around the block. If you look closely, Grant has actually patched this hose. We're using this to fill up military truck tires. Yes, this tiny little thing was doing it. And Grant kind of forgot about it and took off in the military truck and didn't realize this thing was still attached until it wasn't attached. It was flying around in circles the hose detached and it flung. Grant was driving and he looked and he saw this air compressor passing him in the cab. He patched it up, thing still works. It's absolutely incredible and uh, obviously very durable. Next, we have the big boy impact. This thing is heavy and does wonders on pivot tire bolts that are stuck on. Another thing that we don't really love having to use because it means we're doing some kind of really big job, but this thing has some serious torque behind it. Some other hooks, we have the ramps to drive vehicles up on when we're changing the oil. We don't do this as often now that we have the lift, but they stay right here. We have our two little shop stools. This one is my favorite, a subscriber actually sent this to us. So smooth. And the colors also match our Milwaukee theme that we have going on. And then we have a little creeper that stays on hooks. Before all of this stuff was just kind of spread out, staying at its various job stations, but I really think this system is super customizable and there's a lot of different additions that we can add on. And so far it's worked really well. And this is what I was so excited to show you guys. We have upgraded our love rack system. So if you've been around for a while, you know that on this wall, we used to have a love rack, but it was just a smaller system. It was the same height as this one, but it only had two sets of doors. This one is a little more shallow, but we have a lot more storage opportunities with this. And it's a little bit darker of a gray color. So we took everything off the old love rack system. That was another thing that was here when we were renting the buildings and then purchased it. Took everything off the top, Again, we got rid of a lot of stuff that has just been hanging around because it's just been hanging around out of the way, but it's 2024. So this is an excellent opportunity to declutter. Then we set this up. It was actually pretty easy to install. Then we have some tire storage up there. We have a winch, we have a blue rock thrower. And now I get to show you what is inside these cabinets. 
If you haven't heard of a lev rack system, essentially these are all cabinets, but they're just on rollers. So they glide, there's our motion sensing light. They glide really smoothly. If you don't wanna see anything, you don't have to. It's all behind cabinets. But when you wanna access things, you just glide this open. You've got a really nice bright light. You have access to everything. So this is um, some fluids that we might need and then our filter collections. I'd like to work out a good way to organize all of my cans of things. I want to essentially have a Napa Auto Parts or an O'Reilly's in my cabinets here. So if you have any good ideas on how to best organize cans like this, I would love to hear it. Like I said, they're really smooth. Even when they're open, there's plenty of room to stand inside and access things. So in these cabinets, we have employed the use of crates like this. I have a label maker on its way. So instead of just having these spare parts sitting around on benches or up top here like they were, we have them in these crates. So we have this looks like all just hose fittings, hose clamps. I'm going to put a little label right here. It just says hose attachments. So if we're working on tanks and plumbing, like when we put the tanks on the tractor for planting, we just have this crate out sitting next to us and it will have anything we could ever need. Same thing over here. We just have crates lining the entire side. Grant is in town right now getting even more. This rack, we don't have a ton of stuff in yet, but this is just kind of an option for some organizational shelves that you can add in here. And we have more crates behind us. This is a super cool organizational system and I look forward to filling this with all sorts of goodies. So it is the next day, it snowed until probably about 10 o'clock last night and then it blew really hard. So we have some big drifts all around our yard. If Grant and I want any chance of getting out today, we're gonna have to move some snow and I'm excited to be doing that with the ranger today. But first, I think we need to go rescue Pepper from the building. She's been on her heated bed all night I think she can get out, but I want to see if she survived the storm. Oh. Need to scoop this drive maybe first. <sighs> Luckily this door opens in. <gasps> Good morning! That's quite the wall of snow. <laughs> Oh, you're warm. Pepper is warm inside and taken care of, and it's time for us to focus on snow. Like I said, we'll be using the ranger to be pushing snow because unfortunately, for the snowstorm, so about a week ago, we took the skid steer in for just an annual service. Check up, get fluids changed, air filter, just get everything looked over. And it's not done yet. And of course this snow came, and so we're going to be using this. I would rather be using the skid steer, especially given the height of some of those drifts back there, but this will give me a chance to test out the blade because I haven't actually used this. Grant has used this before, and unfortunately he had a little bolt rattle out, and that's the spring that goes over on that side. So I just need to put that back together. I'm actually gonna tighten this one down as well, and then we'll take it out. If I understand correctly, these springs are what allow the blade to kind of pop over anything that you might hit. So if you're skimming along and you hit something, the blade has some flex with these springs to kind of pop over it. All right, that should be good. Are you gonna be driving this bus? Maybe not. All right, you ready to brave the cold?
snow rolls on the blade. the ranger parked under the radiant heater so the snow could melt off of it it is not perfect by any means but i did get enough snow cleared that we can get stuff out of the buildings we can get cars out of the garage we can go if we need to so far for the past two days schools have been canceled and it sounds like with how windy it is they're not even really clearing roads yet today so i'm pretty happy with my progress the sun is out it looked like things were already kind of starting to melt um, but like I said at the beginning of this video, I just wanted this to be kind of relaxing, nothing too long or crazy. I hope, oh, Pepper has some stuff to say apparently. <laughs> I think that's her saying goodbye. Um, anything else? I think she wants some attention too. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope your start to 2024 is going well and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.